One of the things that had the biggest impact on my actual productivity was getting enough sleep. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I just thought it was me and Tina. Welcome back to the show. My name is Mark DeRoost, and today I want to talk to you about something which may sound super simple, but could change everything for you. And that's what I've learned in my second week of quitting my job and starting my business. But first, a sip of tea. Now, this may seem like the most basic thing you could do, and you may go, Mark, you asshole, that's the most obvious tip you could ever share with us. Give us some juicy stuff, like the stuff when you were crying behind your computer because you had no idea how you're gonna make this month's mortgage. I'm sure those will come, or maybe not. The tip this week, getting enough sleep. There's lots of stuff out there, people telling you sleep is for pussies, and you know, sleep when you're dead, and that you know you should be hustling, and you should be working, you should be getting up at 4 a.m. And, and just working your ass off, and working at night, and, and there's a kind of a glorification of that process, which frankly, I think is absolute bullshit. The reason for that is that we function so much better when we've had a really good night's sleep. Now, I can only talk from my personal experience, but what I've noticed is that when I get six hours of sleep or below, I'm cranky, I'm tired, I'm lethargic, I don't want to do anything, and there's no way I'm going to not spend time on Facebook, right? Whereas when I sleep more than seven hours, I feel like a million dollars, and my ideal spot is between seven to eight hours. Now, there's a few scientific reasons as to why getting enough sleep is good for your productivity and actually getting a healthy week ahead. Predominantly, your growth hormones are released while you sleep and your organs are being repaired as you sleep. So the longer you actually get to sleep, the more your body gets time to sort of go back and make sure that your body is ready to function for the following day. The other thing is, this may sound either like the counter opposite of what you would imagine if you went off and did your own thing, but this is probably something that's changed everything this week for me. And that's to wake up super early. I know, what's the point of being your own boss if you, sneeze coming, (laughs) bless me. What's the point of being your own boss if you have to wake up at 6.30 in the morning, right? Well, here's the thing, I spent the first week asking myself where were those three days I was working on my own business, where the hell did those days go by? I just couldn't believe it. Before you knew it, it was three o'clock in the afternoon and I thought, I felt like I'd barely done anything. So what I went ahead and did is I actually did a very quick timetable on Excel and I printed it out and used three days to monitor every single thing I was doing to try and understand what the hell was I doing with my time. Before you know it, I've got this badass little timetable there and it was fascinating to see where I was losing most of my time and where I was spending most of my time on. And here's the thing I I, I least expected by doing this experience. I really thought I was gonna be able to come up with like some really smart way of batching social media, batching my emails and then productivity and all this kind of stuff, which totally is the case. But more importantly, I realized that the days I woke up really early were the days I got the most done and I felt the most amazing. Crazy, right? It sounds like the more I would sleep in, the more I'd be feeling amazing. But the fact of the matter is, the earlier I got up, the more stuff I could get done before noon. And for some reason, the world seems to be functioning at a very different pace before noon. So that's my tip of the week and something that I've learned on my journey. Get enough sleep and get up early. You're not gonna get a medal for sleeping four hours a night and brag and go, yeah, hashtag 4 a.m. club, woo, two hours of sleep, check me out. You're gonna age faster. Your brain cells aren't gonna function as much. You're gonna be creatively impotent, fact. Thank you so much for watching this video. Share it with someone that you know who kind of brags all the time about how little sleep they operate on and how cool they are and actually tell them that that's not the best way for them to operate at at their maximum potential. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the show because I'll be sharing the ups and the downs of the yo-yo journey of what it's really like to quit your job and start your business. Expect some tears, some epic aha moments. I've also got a podcast and I release a new episode every Tuesday, so make sure to check out The Unconventionalists on iTunes. The link is below this video. Right, it's time for me to go. Until next time, remember,